Hi guys, it's the first weekend of October and we are here in Dingle to check out the Dingle Food Fest. So it's a yearly event wherein there's hundreds, I think, of food stalls around town, events for adults and also children, and shows that you can actually enjoy. So there's a lot of different tourists from different parts of Ireland or even overseas that go here specifically for this weekend to check out all these different types of food. Just a couple of tips when you finally decide to go to this festival is number one, bring a bag. That's definitely going to be handy to store the food you won't be able to finish. And secondly, make sure to plan for it because there's a lot of things happening around and you might end up wandering back and forth like me and Derek. But anyway, our first stop is of course coffee. Yeah, hi, good, how are you? Very good. Is it okay if I take a video? Yeah. yeah. Well, tell me first what's the nitro coffee? So it's a cold brew coffee, then it's infused with the nitrogen to give it a bit of texture and it helps with the sweetness as well. So how many tickets do you need for that? One oh, just the one? Yeah. Okay. Here. And you, if you let it settle just a little while, it okay. just helps the texture a little bit. After all of these is gone? Yeah, even like, like halfway through it kind of works. Yeah. Again, if you let it really settle fully, but it just helps a little bit. It looks texture. like it's Guinness. And it's quite refreshing. Yeah, whatever oh. you <laughs> <laughs> But it's not Guinness. There's no alcohol in it, no? No. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Cheers. Okay, now let's try. Oh, wow. That is refreshing. Mm. Yeah, really good. Do you want to try? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Tastes like it has alcohol. Got a reset, pick up my mess, but the barista takes a little too long. She's a caffeinated princess, full of regret of a night that bled into dawn. Okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. So, I just got this macarons there for, oh, I can't remember, I think it's 11 euros. So there's six pieces of it and they're not taking the tickets. Well, must be worth it. Let's have a taste. Ooh. Look. Let's see, let's see. Let's try chocolate. top is crunchy and the middle is gooey which is how you like your macarons <laughs> but don't rely on my words though like I'm not French so what do I know <laughs> I'm sitting in one of the benches here in the town and first of all what I want to do is show you and tell you how it actually works in this food fest once you get here, try to find this trail right away because this is where you're going to get your tickets. And a pro tip, if you want to skip the long queues, bring cash. This is what the tickets look like. Then along with that, they also give you a booklet like this, which has the list of all the shops that are participating, for example, there there and then there and okay so there are actually 63 different shops and stalls where you can use those tickets and try the food that they are offering and it also has this map right and this map is supposed to tell you exactly where they are once you've already picked the type of food that you want to try because in this list as well they give you the description or the name of the food. Oh wow, there is a band that's practicing uh, beside me, so I'm not sure if you can hear it. Um, I'm going to show you. Yeah. 
we're hungry and we're queuing in a what is it a stall it's called um, sponnock on the go it's probably an irish word sponnock would you know what that is no idea <laughs> i shouldn't have asked oh oh there you go thank you <laughs> what? What does that mean? Spoon over is like it's a spoon. It's just a All right, okay, so that means spoon on the go. Oh, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You learn something every day. And thanks to this guy for saving the day. Um, can I have two of the pulled pork Korean barbecue sauce, please? Yes, that's everything. Jennifer, it's gonna take 10 minutes, but we're obviously hungry, so just need to wait, I guess. And again, they're not taking any of the tickets, so we need to find a place where we can spend all of these ones. Instead of just standing there, I went for a little walk and this doll got my attention because of its really little name. And so I asked the guy behind it. All the pieces there, they're all fired at 1240 degrees, so it's, they're very robust pottery. Most pottery are fired at 1060 or 1100 degrees. Because it's high fired, it makes it very, very strong. It's good for everything, your microwave, your dishwasher. Um, so it's, it's basically, if you mind the pottery, it lasts all your life. Okay, and are you based here in Dingle? No, I'm based in a place called The Spa, which is between Tralee. Oh yes, I know The Spa. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Tralee. They look really nice and lovely. Thank you very much. How much are the necklaces? They're, um, they're 20 euros. They're all handmade and hand painted. And how about this? Is it um, the, just steel. a strap? That's stainless steel. Stainless steel, yeah. I'm on Instagram under the Harry Potter. Obviously, I was not able to resist the temptation until I got one of the necklace pieces. Don't forget to follow Harry Potter on Instagram. And now back to the pulled pork. I gotta try. Mm. It's such a long wait. Well, it's very busy. Such a hit. This spot was more than enough for me to enjoy the meal. Derek was actually suggesting that next year we ditch the tickets and then just pay in cash. But then I love handing out the tickets. So maybe not. It's a typical Ireland now. It is raining. It was nice and sunny a while ago. We weren't as ready as this group here who brought their umbrella, but thank God for Murphy's because this is something that you don't want to miss when you're in Dingle. Their ice cream is out of this world and I normally get Dingle sea salt and chocolate, but for today, we're gonna do the taste trail. So come on guys, let's go in. So what are you offering for the taste trail? So we have three options today. So we have two cake slices, which is sea salt, chocolate, whiskey, oh my God. and a chocolate biscuit base. Or else we have polycomb caramel, butterscotch with a biscuit base. Both are topped with sauce, butterscotch sauce and chocolate sauce. And if not, raspberry rock chicken, whatever you prefer yourself. Oh, and ginger, lemon and cayenne pepper. Needless to say, I picked the mocktail. Here you go. Okay, thank you. You too. I'm kind of stuck inside Murphy's at the moment. Well, the good thing is I have this mocktail to accompany me.
Oh, guys, I didn't expect that it's going to be this warm. Oh, guys, th this is the same street we were yesterday. It was packed. And today, look. <laughs> no one. But again, it's just because it's we're early. We were trying to be smart, but we're so smart. <laughs> There's no stalls yet. It's day two, but the first order of business is still coffee. No, no sugar. Um, and actually, do you have soya latte? Soya? Hmm? Yeah, oat actually is perfect. Tingle is known to be one of the Gaelic speaking towns in the whole of Ireland. And I found out that she is from Tingle, and so I asked if she can speak Irish. Uh, a small bit. I don't really get the chance to use it anymore. So it's kind of, you know, if you don't exercise the muscle, it gets weaker. The further west you go, the more you hear Irish. Um, so, like, anyone born out like down Fenway, a lot of them would speak just Irish the whole time at home. The coffee is amazing. And you know what? I just realized that beside this coffee shop is the famous fish and chip shop. Now, they are open not just for the food fest, they're always there. So don't forget to grab one when you're here. Got a reset, pick up my mess, but the barista takes a little too long. She's a caffeinated princess, full of regret of a night that We have a vegan cream cheese that's uh, made from cashews and cultured and fermented, like dairy, but instead of a dairy cream, it's a cashew cream, and it's cultured and it changes, and you get this tangy cheese that people miss, especially when they're vegan. It's organic, okay. lactose-free, cholesterol-free, no fats or oils. Yeah. Might actually get one of each. One of each? Yeah, tangy. wow. <laughs> I'll give you some cards, the recipe inside. Oh, then you can share it with friends of yours. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate so the name it. is Hungry Soul. Hungry Soul. Spread. Yeah. Spread the word. <laughs> Spread the word, yeah. Our next stop was this Italian restaurant for what Sheldon Cooper calls as a real Italian treat. Hi, is it okay to film you? Is it okay if I video, take a video? I don't know so. if it's okay be, with your phone, I get broken that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so. Run away. It's funny. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like that. No, it's so funny, That's thank frank. you. <laughs> Same. Sausages and uh, all you already inside. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Wow. Ravaged. Gone. And how many tickets for that? Two tickets. Here. Thank Cheers. you. I'm a little thirsty. Cheers. So much now I can't drive. No, you can't drive. You drive home. And the mint, see? You want to taste? We're so full at this point, but I saw this stall offering some Vietnamese spring rolls. Like, who could say no to that? We are the rice paper rolls, we stuffed them with fresh mint, we did an orange zest carrot, we pickled our own cabbage, and we marinated the glass rice noodles. And they come with a homemade soy sauce satay dip. And the, how about the drinks? That's a gin fizz, it's a rose and rose Okay, hold on, let me try and mobilize both my hands. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can make like Vietnamese rolls. It's weird, what's that purple stuff? Anyway, let's try. They have like a satay sauce in here. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't tried Vietnamese rolls with satay sauce. It worked. 
Actually, it works. Cheers. For our last stop, we ended up in the seafood bar queuing for a spicy buffalo cake bites. And there's no better way of ending this trip but this one. So I'm gonna finish here and I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you again next week. Ciao! Oh, and by the way, I met this lovely man while we we're walking around town and he was so eager to talk about the Coast Guards. So here he is. The lifeboat's a voluntary, a voluntary um, service, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the week. The money goes to them. They don't get paid. The button goes off, they go. Come here, good luck. All right, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.